Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Werner Tobin here on the Corn School today with uh, Omafra Corn Lead, Ben Rosser. How's it going, Ben? Not too bad. How are you, Bernard? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. We are at the Allura Research Station at FarmSmart at the Expo. And I uh, want to talk to you about fertilizer burn. You've had a lot of growers here talking about fertilizer burn today. You've got some great plots. I guess the, I, the obvious question is, you know, why do we want to avoid fertilizer burn? Yeah, so obviously fertilizer is good to have close to seed for the starter fertilizer effect, right? But it gets to the point where you've got too much and you're getting root burn, whether it's the salt effect from the salt and fertilizers, or if you're some, you know, urea type fertilizers, ammonia toxicity concerns too. So concerns from root loss or, you know, germination of seedlings, poor development, variability in stands, some of those could start to show up if we push things too hard fertilizer wise. Yeah. Um, great display here today and great discussion on how to diagnose fertilizer burn, fertilizer injury. What are you looking for? Yeah, so I think the first thing is to go out to the field you know, one thing that really stands out at first is variability in the stand. So you might have some plants that are big, other plants that are smaller. There's other things that could cause that too, but that's kind of the first red flag, right? Um, and really, if you're really diagnosing, is this a fertilizer issue? We've got to go down to the roots and take a look at what those roots look like. So, um, you know, when we start to dig those plants up, usually the ones we're going to go for the laggards, those ones that are smaller and a little bit behind, start to dig them up and take a look at the roots. If you're missing particularly the seedling roots, so you're missing the radical off the seed, the first root that comes out of the seed when it germinates, or the other seedling roots, or they're shorter than they should be, you know, black and brown tips where those root tips have died because of fertilizer. Uh, some of those are the telltale signs of fertilizer burn in, in roots for corn. Um, I, I know you talked about, you know, non-germinated seed. If maybe that's something else to look for? Yeah, so if you see a spot where there's no plant at all, take a look and if you find some seeds, sometimes they'll germinate a little bit and you might see a bit of a root or a shoot that's died off or in some cases they've imbibed water but haven't done anything since then. Now, again, more telltale signs for fertilizer burn in that corn stand. Right. Hey, I guess the final question is always the answer. I mean, uh, you had a lot of discussion today about safe rates. You know, what is, what's that rate you need to target to avoid fertilizer burn? What'd you tell the folks today? Yeah, so OMAF has a table in either the agronomy guide or the uh, soil nutrient fertility guide. And uh, it's, you know, gives you for all crops, so for corn in a two inch by two inch band, so two inches to the side of the seed, two inches below the seed. Uh, there are some numbers to go by. You know, they're a general safe recommendation. There's a couple caveats and it says it right at the bottom of the tables is that, uh, you know, even these rates will cause some injury in highly risky situations. So coarse textured soil, low or uh, dry spring conditions, even with those rates, you can still get some injury. Um, but even saying that, you know, there are still growers who will push those rates or, you know, use rates that are higher than those and still get away fine. So, you know, those are the numbers we use as a relatively safe benchmark in most conditions. And what are those rates? Yeah, so if you're using um, if you're using a urea fertilizer, those rates would be about 35 pounds of, per acre of nitrogen. Again, this is just for two by two bands and 30 inch corn rows, or about uh, 70 pounds of your salts altogether. So your N plus your K plus your S. If you're using a non-urea based fertilizer, then in that case it would be I think it's about 47 pounds per acre of nitrogen or 105 pounds of N plus K plus S altogether for non-urea fertilizers. Hey, uh, great stuff, Ben. Great work here at uh, FarmSmart. Uh, thanks for stopping by. No problem. Thanks for your interest, Bernard. Great.